Mayor Strickland, members of council, good evening. For the record, my name is Olivia Lippens. I'm the president of Clear Channel Outdoor, 3601 6th Avenue South. Uh, I'd like to address Ordinance 27982 regarding the moratorium on billboards this evening. And I'm here specifically to uh, express how puzzled I am uh, and somewhat shocked I am at uh, the city's recent move uh, for a moratorium. Clear Channel has been working in good faith with the city for over nine months under the settlement agreement that the city council unanimously adopted a year ago. But the language of this moratorium clearly states that it's designed to preserve the status quo. And yet the status quo is the very situation that makes litigation unavoidable. The status quo is what prompted the council to adopt amortization. The status quo is what led Clear Channel to be forced to file a lawsuit to defend our permitted and constitutional rights. Therefore, a move to adopt a moratorium would be a clear signal to us that the city no longer wants to abide by the settlement agreement that it signed, but rather would return to positions that brought us to the litigation to begin with. Back in 1997, uh, when the city passed an unconstitutional ordinance to force the removal of signs in the city of Tacoma, after several years of trying to work with the city on alternative solutions, we were forced in 2007 to file a lawsuit to protect our rights of both the landlords and Clear Channel. The city had approached Clear Channel in 2009 to begin settlement talks when the city realized it was likely not to prevail in the litigation. And we've worked long and hard with the city, negotiating in good faith for several years to find a win-win alternative. But now I have to be honest, we feel a little bit blindsided by this call for a moratorium that sends the signal that the city no longer wants to honor the settlement agreement that it signed and agreed to nearly a year ago. Clear Channel has already agreed to an extension in time from January 2011 to August 2011 to allow the city time to fulfill their part of the settlement agreement. Now in a move that comes as a surprise to us, the city appears to be changing course. And if the moratorium is adopted, we'll send a clear message that the city has reversed itself on that very settlement. The moratorium would take this whole process back to square one. And after five years of hard work, it seems like a really drastic move and one that's entirely counterproductive for parties that have been at the table discussing this. In addition, the moratorium would prevent Clear Channel from exercising their property rights with the 169 permits we currently hold for relocation and construction of signs. In essence, the city would be asserting a taking over these privately owned assets by instituting this moratorium. It's also unclear to me how we would continue to conduct routine maintenance on our existing signs that are required by regulatory bodies like OSHA under this proposed moratorium. Clear Channel has demonstrated time and again our willingness to negotiate in good faith with the city. And we believed that we had reached a solution, the settlement agreement that both dramatically reduces the number and square footage of signs within the city with an initial reduction of over 35,000 square feet of signage. Let me repeat that. With an initial reduction, just within the beginning of the settlement agreement, an initial reduction of over 35,000 square feet of signage in the city. That's 178 sign faces with the initial outlay of removals provided within the settlement agreement, which seems to strike right at the core of what the city's intent was from the beginning of adopting amortization, which to, was to reduce the number of signs within the city drastically. So the signs and permits planned for removal, I'd like to also underscore, represent 40% of the inventory targeted by the city from this initial process that would be removed. That's a 40% reduction. Um, I'd like you also to keep in mind that the signs that Clear Channel and its predecessor companies, uh, that we've been a part of the Tacoma landscape for over 100 years. Billboards have been a part of this city for over a century and they've supported local businesses. They've supported local nonprofits. Our signs in Tacoma were legally permitted by the city, and they were constructed in accordance with those permits. We do pay B&O taxes to the city, I'd like to clarify that. And we also pay for permitting fees as a local business. It's also important to underscore that 85% of the advertisers that use our Tacoma billboards are purchased locally by businesses and nonprofits 
that depend on billboard advertising to promote their businesses or their cause. Please this, wrap it up. This has gone on for decades. Uh, I know you are aware that there have been many business landowners and nonprofits who have reached out to you all. In ending, the settlement agreement is the best and only way to mitigate the problems presented by the status quo. There is no benefit in prolonging this anymore. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to suspend the rules for a second here because